It is an issue that's sounding an alarm because of our beautiful beaches and marshlands. The governor wants the DEP to look at how the overflows could affect the state. News 6 reporter Troy Campbell is looking into this investigation and what it means for the state. He joins us now live. And Troy, what are you finding out? Well, people here in Seminole County, they say that during Hurricane Matthew, there wasn't a major issue with sewage spilling into their waterways. However, that's not the case everywhere. Governor Rick Scott says during Hurricane Hermine, he saw 29 million gallons of raw sewage going into the waterways there. So he wants people like you to be aware it's happening. Anyone downstream now needs to be notified about that that spillage. Alan Harris with Seminole County's Office of Emergency Management says because of mobile generators, Seminole County was able to avoid major sewer spills during Hurricane Matthew. We had enough generators to move uh, them around to the different lift stations and other fa uh, facilities. Some private contractors did have some spillage. And in that case, uh, the Department of Environmental Protection was notified. The governor saying, quote, Florida is famous for our pristine environment, world class beaches, and award-winning state parks. We must do all we can to protect our natural resources to ensure everyone in our state has access to clean and safe water. The governor's emergency rule issued at the end of last month resulted in an increased amount of notification sent out regarding sewage overflows. Here's a notification from the city of Palm Coast on Monday detailing a list of pump stations where a power outage caused sewer water to spill into the ground. Here's another one from the city of Daytona Beach saying a power outage caused partial treated water to spill into the Halifax River during Hurricane Matthew. Harris says it's not only electricity, but also trees falling on equipment that could cause major problems. They have children, they have uh, you know maybe pets that uh, go down to the, to the river, down to the creek. We want to make sure that they are taken care of, that they don't get sick. And the city of Orlando says that in the past week they've had three sewage overflows, but they say none of those spills were a direct result from Hurricane Matthew. Live in Seminole County, Troy Campbell, News 6, back to you.